trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that. Fights through, and now a crease. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. He has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. They'll roll him out right. Looking downfield for Jones. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0. The goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Here's Mayfield. Man open. That's Anthony Schwartz. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time. And the decision to go for it. Proves to be a good one. Mayfield finding Beckham. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. My dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really? By yeah, way? that daddy is. How about that? What about young Davis? No, no. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. David Njoku there to make the grab. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Throwing, Mayfield. He's got Njoku over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Mayfield on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He completes it to Beckham. Touchdown, Browns. Odell Beckham. 38 yards, and the Browns have taken the lead. We just saw one of the benefits of a quarterback having mobility. Scrambled around, kept the play alive, and then found a receiver open downfield for a touchdown. McGlough. Just a punt. This time they had that opportunity, but didn't get it. Because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. On second down, it's Henry. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Now Tannehill. And the throw there going to be incomplete. But this thing on fourth down. Throwing Tannehill. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. In a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. Here's Tannehill sliding out of the pocket. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had time out for him. Not good at all. Now it's Tannehill. And, oh, a crusher there as it's oh, intercepted. Fight, Picked off by Greg Newsom. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory.